we just start with the meringue, and you need to get that on now. So for the meringue, this is the meringue roulade. I've got four egg whites and eight ounces of caster sugar. And I'm just going to whisk up the egg whites, or you could whisk them in the magic mix, but I need this for the hazelnuts in a second. And once the egg whites just change color slightly, add in the sugar. So four egg whites to eight ounces of caster sugar, or 225 grams. Thank you. <laughs> but I often think of um, this in imperial measurements because four egg whites, eight ounces of caster sugar, easy. So, I'm going to whisk this up until it's nice and stiff. And then I'm going to actually fold in a bit of desiccated coconut. You don't have to, but this is just going to turn this plain meringue into a coconut meringue, which is nice for a change. You could always stir in after it's whisked up instead of the coconut. You could always stir in some instant coffee powder to make a coffee meringue that would be delicious. I'm going to put lemon curd and cream and some raspberries in the center. But if you're making a coffee meringue, maybe you could put some whiskey flavored cream in or brandy flavored cream in for an adult dinner party. Um, and it's flourless as well. Isn't and it? it's flourless, absolutely. So, and actually both these recipes are today flourless, um, which is not, which I didn't, you know, do purposely. But a lot of people do say, and a lot of people are trying, you know, to kind of hold back on the wheat a little bit. Um, so anyway, these just happen to be two recipes that are flourless. So keep whisking this for a few more minutes. Can I ask you, actually, Trish, would you mind whisking yes. this? No, a couple more minutes. Thank you. I'm just going to, while Trish is whisking up here the egg whites and the sugar, I'm going to make the lemon curd. And this lemon curd recipe, all these recipes are in my new book, Bake. And this lemon curd is easy it's so easy to make it could be turned into orange curd it could be turned into lemon and lime curd wonderful as i said earlier for putting on pancakes toast ice cream just to have in a jar in your fridge um this will keep for about two or three weeks in your fridge in a jar as long as the jar is a sterilized jar so make sure your jar has been sterilized in an oven an oven above 100 degrees for more than 10 minutes the jar is clean and sterilized, this lemon curd will keep a lovely, lovely gift. You know, if you're going to someone's house over Christmas, to bring them a little jar of something or a cake or something, I mean, really, I think edible gifts are But also, so nice. the great thing is you know exactly what's gone into it, don't you? So it's no preservatives, exactly. no coloring. No calories. <laughs> okay, in this one, we've got about 75 grams of butter, 75 grams of sugar, but it's healthy because there's vitamin C. <laughs> The greatest zest and juice of three, or sorry, two lemons, or three smaller lemons. And then I'm going to put in two eggs and one egg yolk. And I've just melted the butter. I'm turning the hob down to low. I want this to be a nice low heat that this cooks on. And then I'm going to add in the two eggs, one egg yolk. Tiny bit more maybe, yeah, thank you. Lemon curd at home. Oh, a few of you. Do you just make lemon, or do you flavour it with, say, raspberries as well? Raspberry juice. Oh, that makes raspberry nice. juice. Oh, yes, raspberry and lemon is lovely. Oh wow! Really oh, nice. nice. Sorry. Ra lovely, lovely. What colour. do you do? Liquidise the raspberries. Yes, and then strain them and put a bit of that as oh. well with the lemon. Oh, that would be gorgeous in this meringue. There we go. Fantastic. Do you mind if I come back no. to this? Thank you. <laughs> so, the meringue is now ready, I think, just, just holding a oh, stiff wow. peak. Fantastic, okay, so, oh, <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, I you know can't what? get the mic. I am so messy. <laughs> your dress. Cupcakes on it. That is absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. <laughs> it's quite embarrassing. Okay. Right. The meringue is now whisked up, as you can see. I'm going to fold in a little bit of desiccated coconut and just fold it in really nice and gently. You don't want to lose any air. <laughs> Fantastic. Once you fold it in gently, I'm glad it happened to her, not me. <laughs> should see the mess that I make when I'm cooking at home. <laughs> and then tip it into, out into a Swiss roll tin that you have 
lined with a piece of tin foil or parchment paper. If it's tin foil, just make sure you brush it with a little bit of oil, like a tasteless oil. Not an olive oil, you know, but like a sunflower or peanut oil. There. And then just spread it out. This is going to take just about 12 to 15 minutes to cook. So once this is cooked, I'll need to take it out and cool it quite quickly. Right. <laughs> Fantastic. There. Shall I put it into the oven? Yeah, thank you. I will need to use this one in a few minutes. So we'll keep an eye on that. Thank you. Thank you. Can somebody tell me when 20 minutes is up, please? 15. 15? Say. Yes. Yeah. Who's going to be our alarm clock? Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. <laughs> I won't blame you if anything happens, I promise. <laughs> right. So while the meringue is cooking, I just need to get back to the lemon curd. I haven't done anything. All I did was I melted the butter. The sugar is in here too. The grated zest and the juice, remember, of the two lemons went in here as well. And now I'm going to add in two eggs and one egg yolk that I just whisked up slightly. And I'm just going to stand and stir this on the heat for about five minutes until it thickens. And then that's it. That's the curd made. That's all lemon curd is. And you could make a huge big batch of this. This is just going to be enough just to put onto the meringue. But you could make 10 times this recipe easily, absolutely easily. So this is, it needs to be cooked on a gentle low heat because you've got so many egg yolks in here. You're gonna get a rich, lemony, sweet scrambled egg if you overheat this. And I'm sorry, because you are saying that you don't eat eggs. You don't eat eggs, and there's eggs in everything I'm making today. You can't make an eggless lemon curd, but you could always, um, instead of the lemon curd, uh, meringue is the problem, well, Mm. Yeah. You could make a lemon butter. You could make a lemon, oh, lemon butter or a lemon creme fraiche, but it's the meringue. Yeah. Are you an eggless, eggless you know, meringue? You don't eat them at all. <laughs> what can we do? Oh, I have. I don't know. Is there an egg replacement that you can, an egg white replacement that you can use in meringue? Do you know? Is there some? No. I don't know of one. Can I just show you just now, before this starts to cook, can you see the lemon curd? It's runny. Well, it's kind of like double cream at the moment. In about five minutes, this will have thickened. And then I'll just take it out of the saucepan, put it into a bowl, allow it to cool, and that'll be ready then to spread onto the meringue or onto your toast in the morning. Delicious and tangy, first thing in the morning. Or onto your pancakes, or as Trish did last night with the lemon curd I made yesterday, over ice cream. So it'll be nice warmed up over ice cream. Or was it just like you just drizzled it in? I tell you what is nice, it's for an instant baked potato. So if you do a nice um, baked apple, baked. if you do a baked, baked apple and stuff it with some lovely um, apricots and dried fruits, and then just melt a little bit of your um, lemon curd and then pour it over the top. Oh. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Lovely. So it's, it's a nice wintry, mm. wintry dessert. This lemon curd is nearly cooked. But I am making sure that I'm stirring it the whole time. This is kind of handy, this flash bottomed wooden spoon. So it's kind of getting into all the edges of the saucepan. But I am making sure that it's not scrambling anywhere. If it looks like it's catching, you know, when you are scrambling eggs, it starts to scramble. Um, if that happens here, you just need to take it off the heat immediately. Maybe just push it through a sieve to get rid of those little scramble bits. But this is nearly there. So I'm not going to leave it. But I'm it's just so going to. Quick, isn't it? Today? It is so quick. And you know what? If you need to leave, the sauce, but if your phone rings or something, just take it off the heat, go off, come back, and it'll be fine. But just don't leave it on the heat. And it actually is, you know, it's the easiest thing. The, the hardest work in here, really, is the grating and the zesting. I mean, the zesting and the juicing of, of the lemons. But as I said, you can make it with oranges, oranges instead, or half lemon, half lime is nice too. All limes, nearly there. You could use it also for um, a lining for a tart, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Into shortbread pastry mm -hmm. for a lovely lemon tart. Mm -hmm. That classic one. Very, and then caramelise with a blowtorch. Just I love some, that. Ice cream. Yeah. Lovely. A lovely thing to do as well with lemon curd is to, um, if you have leftover meringues, not a soft meringue in a Swiss roll tin like I'm making, but you know leftover drier meringues, 
in an airtight box, you know, they've been there for a few weeks and you need a quick ready-made dessert. Well, what you can do is take some lemon curd, break up meringues, a little bit of softly whipped cream or Greek yogurt or creme fraiche, fold it all together and it's like an eaten mess, if you can imagine, without the, the strawberries. Um, and either just serve it in little cups or glasses like that, dusted with a bit of icing sugar, a little mint leaf to kind of pot it up a bit, it'll look gorgeous. Or you could actually even freeze that and serve it as a frozen dessert, and it's lovely. If you are freezing it, you can put it into a loaf tin that you've lined with a double layer of cling film. Freeze it like that, take it out, peel off the cling film, cut it into slices, and you've got a lovely little lemon meringue parfait, you could call it. Okay, the lemon curd is cooked. It's thickened up enough. Can, I don't know if you can see. Can you see that in the mirror? Can you see how it's thickened? And I'll show you as well here. Can you see? It's coating the back of the spoon. You can tell it's coating the back of the spoon. If you kind of run your finger through it, it leaves a mark. Right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to empty that into this bowl. So actually, I'll put that in there. So it'll cool quickly. So I might just, Trish, would you mind just stirring this every so often, just so it yes. kind of cools quickly-ish? Because I'm going to use this for the meringue that will hopefully be cooked soon. How are we doing? About, about seven minutes. About, about seven minutes. Are you just chancing, chancing it? Another about seven minutes. <laughs> Another seven and a half minutes-ish. I'll have a look. No, I think you're right. Another seven or so minutes. 